Lord God, early in the morning, when the world was young, you made life in all its beauty and gave birth to all that we know. Hallowed be your name. Early in the morning, when the world least expected it, a newborn child crying in a cradle, announced that you had come to us, that you were one of us. Hallowed be your name. Early in the morning, surrounded by respectable liars, anxious statesmen, religious leaders and silent friends, you accepted the penalty for being God. You shouldered and suffered the cross. Hallowed be your name. Early in the morning, a voice in a guarded graveyard and footsteps in the dew proved that you had risen, that you had come back to those and for those who had forgotten and denied you. Hallowed be your name. And now, this morning, we celebrate your creation, your life, your death, your rising again, and your love for us. Hallowed be your name. And now, as our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, so we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Happy are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Happy are those who keep his decrees, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong, but walk in his ways. You have commanded your precepts to be kept diligently. Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes. Then I shall not be put to shame, having my eyes fixed on all your commandments. I will praise you with an upright heart when I learn your righteous ordinances. I will observe your statutes do not utterly forsake me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now this is the commandment, the statutes and the ordinances, that the Lord your God has charged me to teach you to observe in the land that you are about to cross into and enter, so that you and your children and your children's children may fear the Lord your God all the days of your life and keep his decrees and his commandments that I am commanding you so that your days may be long. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe them diligently, so that it may go well with you, and so that you may multiply greatly in the land flowing with milk and honey, as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has promised you. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul and with all your might. 
keep these words that I am commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. Bind them as a sign on your hand, fix them as an emblem on your forehead and write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One of the scribes came near and heard them disputing with one another. And seeing that Jesus answered them well, he asked him, which of the commandments is first of all? Jesus said, the first is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. And the second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The scribe said, you are right, teacher. You have truly said, he is one, and besides him there is no other and to love him with all the heart, with all the understanding, with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as oneself. This is more important than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. Jesus, seeing that he had answered wisely, said, you are not far from the kingdom of God. And after this, no one dared ask him any question.
in the darkness of the womb. He knitted us together with love. In our growing and our grappling, he grasped us with love. In our wandering and our exploring, he holds us with love. In our suffering and our yearning, he heals us with love. In our straying and our forgetting, he finds us with love. God of love, let your love today fill our lives, making us responsive to the needs of our neighbours, casting out sin and fear, guiding our thoughts and our actions, reaching out to all, healing what is hurt and broken. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of love, let your love fill your church, binding us together, inspiring our worship and our service, giving us courage and wisdom, reaching out to all, opening her doors to the wanderer, welcoming all who struggle. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. God of love, let your love fill this country, showing respect to all people, caring for the needy and the sick, protecting the young and the old, reaching out to all, offering safety to those in danger, standing up, for fairness and integrity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of love, let your love fill this world, calling for justice, putting an end to war, banishing hunger, reaching out to all, turning enemies into friends, seeing Christ in the stranger. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Today, we offer these and all of our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, for your love for us, warm and brooding, which has brought us to birth and opened our eyes, we give you thanks. For your love for us, wild and freeing, which has awakened us to the energy of creation, to the sap that flows, the blood that pulses, and the heart that sings, we give you thanks. For your love for us, compassionate and patient, which has carried us through our pain, wept beside us in our sin, and waited with us in our confusion, we give you thanks. For your love for us, strong and challenging, which has called us to risk everything for you and shown us how to serve, we give you thanks. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be with you and with all the peoples of the world 
today and forevermore. Amen.